Friends, I don't know if y'all can see this, <laughs> but I just uh, curbsided a junked table. <laughs> Has all kinds of watermarks and stuff on top of it. But I'm going to take that down to my shop and uh, keep that to, to work on stuff with, you know? Now we're going home. And yes, I did. I actually had a, I actually have enough room in this car to shut the door on it. <laughs> Not care. Just barely, but it was enough room to shut the door. And this street is what mom and dad have nicknamed Home Stray's Fountain. And Big Ravenue. Maybe I'll kind of see it. It's kind of getting dark. I've been out mostly testing how this camera will do at night time. or in various driving conditions because it started out with some pretty good daylight. I really need to reorganize my shed so it's going to be the table's going to be stuffed in there and kind of let go for right now. Turn y'all back up so you don't see some highway there. This table's got two leaves that uh, triple the size of it that fold up and uh, has the leg that goes under it, but uh, I'm going to take at least one of them off, probably both of them, because uh, there's just not enough room for me to have that thing open in my shed. And I've been looking for something that uh, would be good to sit under while I'm repairing things like TVs and such. Because the workbench is a little tight. So it's, uh, I got it set up that way. It's a, it's a little tight but for the taller items to fit in there. So that table is very strong and it will suffice for what I'm planning on doing. And who knows, I might take the leaves and make some counter space out of them. Or something. Anyway, the, this is going to be a fun project again. I didn't know that I was going to be uh, uh, curbside things for y'all on camera, kind of on camera, more or less. I didn't, I didn't plan this. So, street is and it's kind of hard to see. There's this one right here. 
is LaRue Avenue. Actually. Five zone. <laughs> I like to come up through this way because it comes out. When I go to the Salvation Army, it comes out straight ahead of the entrance to the new highway, more or less. And that's why I like it up through here. good night to be strolling out but it's just about well it's not quite as dark as it looks in the camera in my opinion but I kind of like taking the new highway at night because the, the there's no people that live along that road and there's hardly no strolling going on. Plus, it has a sidewalk on it, believe it or not. <laughs> so, I just got to wait on this red light. We'll hit the interstate and go home. My main reason to come out today was... Uh, because I need a, a cell phone charger that had multiple sockets. This one has six sockets on it. So it charges my watch that I got the other day. I got <laughs> I got a, toy, a little bit of story to tell on that one. I got a free watch. Just from one of them mailers that uh, came in from one of them car dealerships, and I don't know why I'm yielding on the green light, but <laughs> I'm not going to be talking like this. Anyway, I digress, and I got a free smartwatch from the dealership. <laughs> and I tell you, it, well, it's a cheap watch, but it still beats the $5 thing or whatever, or that uh, lottery ticket that I got from one dealership one time when I went out. And it just so happens I was out by that dealership or I really wouldn't have stopped. And you can see it's getting foggy tonight. It's one minute from nine o'clock. So best be heading home. I forgot today's date. Can't see it on the cell phone because it's serving as camera. I don't know if y'all can see how foggy it is, but it's pretty bad. Over this bridge now it clears up. It's past the bridge. We're near the end of it. Anyway, I've, I've uh, acquired all kinds of free things for that shed, or very, stuff that's very cheap. Like right now, my uh, desk is uh, part of the secretary, well, the secretary corner, or whatever you want to call that, where the typewriter goes to the big desk that sits in my house. And that big desk has about three or four or five 19-inch TVs sitting on top of it. 
Well, maybe just two, actually. I think it's it's got a bunch of stuff on it. And a monitor. Computer monitor and a computer. And the drawers are full of stuff. Anyway. Out on the interstate, but maybe I better speed up a little. <laughs> it's 73. People don't like to go below the speed limit on this road. And who knows if y'all can still hear me. Even if this uh, camera app's recording sound, because it's a special app that I put on here it's for dash cam use, I don't know. I don't quite know how it's working right now. But I thought it was interesting that uh, I could play music from the other app in my cell phone, which I think is named Pulsar. It's, you know, it works similar to iTunes and all that jazz. When you're playing music. It's very easy to link uh, with uh, my Google Chrome. I believe that's called. It's hooked up to my stereo at home. <laughs> And in my car, which you probably heard it recently, it, uh, it, it, it plays through the Bluetooth. I'm getting a little tired here, so it's kind of hard to talk. drink of what used to be Pepsi Max on that. I have to change the settings on this because apparently this uh, this app won't run at the same time of allowing my phone battery to charge. In other words, it's uh, for some reason it's depleting the battery even though it's plugged into the, the socket on the car. I don't know why that is, but it's went down 10% recently, and it's leaving me only about 13%. I think it, I think it was about 10%. Yeah, and I know it was up in the 20s. In other words, you can hear them, hear that table popping in the background. <laughs> Anyway, that's going to be fun trying to get down to the shed. Because it just rained. And I don't want to mark the yard. <laughs> but I've got, I've got that problem solved. i got a got a hand truck and I'm going to cut y'all off real soon 
right around to the ear probably. Notice I, I don't particularly like giving away where I live on YouTube. So thank you for watching. More to come later and God bless.